Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So use your newfound knowledge of integration to come up with a formula for, for the volume of a sphere. So um, so the, the formula for, for a circle, a formula for a cir circle would be given as um, y squared plus x squared equals r squared, um, where r is a constant. Okay, so r, r could be anywhere. So, so this is r here at the moment. But r, r is a constant. So you, uh, you would rearrange this. So y uh, squared equals r squared minus x squared. Uh, square root both sides. That will then give you plus minus square root uh, r squared minus x squared. But because we we uh, we we only care about the positive side, um, so we we can pretty much ignore this, and uh, we can ignore the, the negative version and just keep the the positive version. So, so this, um, so, so you, you can see that this is the same as this. So, meaning that that the equation for this line here is given by by this. We we don't need the negative uh, the negative side because um, because when 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 we come to sum up all the disks, we work out this height and then so once once you've got the height here, which is given by this pi r square, that will then give you the uh, the area of the circle. So, so from this here, we're going to sum up all the all the disks. Okay, so so we're going to sum up all the disks here, and then sum up all the disks, and then sum up all the disks, and so on, and then and then and then sweep it, sweep it through from minus r all the way to r. Then then that will then give you the volume of a cylinder up of a of a sphere. So if if you look at this, if you look at this. Um, this area here, okay. If you look at this area here, that's like you doing this. That's like you doing this, getting this length, this height here. Once you've got the height here, which is which is this, uh, times pi pi that thing there, um, r squared minus x squared, and then and then square it. That that will then give you the the area of um, of this bit here, and then and then this area here. Well, you you would do the same technique. Um, you you um you would get the height here okay and then and then and then and then sweep it through all the way 360 so it's, it's really once you get once you've got the height here pi uh pi the height uh, squared and then that that will give you the area that 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 will pretty much sweep it all the way through here okay so 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 sum up all well anyway do whatever you want uh find the volume of this um Find the volume for the uh, for the sphere. Okay, so hang on. So given this here, don't forget this here is r, and this here is negative r. Okay, so come up with the uh, the the volume of the sphere. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, um, you 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 basically um, you, well, it, it would be you integrating from minus r to r of this. So it would be um, it will be pi the height squared. So, so if you look at this here, it would be the height here. Get the height here. So, so you would get you you would get the height here, uh, and then and then square it times pi. That's that's this bit here. Okay, and uh, and then you you would integrate it from all the way from z from uh, from minus r all the way to uh, to r here. So that so the volume is given by this, okay. Uh, but then don't forget f of x, f of x is given by um, given by by this. F of x is given by this. So we, we're going to put this into the f of x. So hang on. So that would then that would then well don't forget f of x here is given by this, and then and then square it square it. Okay, so so you've got a square root, and then you square it. That would then that would then take you to here, and then uh, and then multiply this out, uh, multiply this out. It would then give you this, and then uh, and and don't forget r is a constant. R in our scenario, r, r is a constant. So um, so when when you come to um, when you come to integrate it, this whole thing here is just a constant. This whole thing here is a constant. So integrate a constant. That will give you that will give you x times a constant. Okay, and then uh, and then integrate this. That will then give you this. And then now it's a matter of it's a matter of getting this, which is this bit here. Take away 
this, which is this bit here. Okay, and then blah blah blah, um, tidy up, and then it will give you this. So it is consistent. So so with our newfound method of integration, it it gave us a volume of this, and then we, which is a con, which is consistent with um with what we've been of the uh, the volume of a sphere, okay.